Y'all, in all honesty, when I woke up this morning, I was not expecting <laughs> to actually see this news and information. I completely thought that this game was completely dead, <laughs> mainly because it's been, I believe it's been like half a year or almost like six months, or I don't even know how long it's been since we've last actually heard of this game. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it is the infamous Dragon Ball The Breakers, the Dragon Ball version of Dead by Daylight. Yes, today they actually dropped a new trailer for the game. Obviously, the first trailer that ever came out for this game showcased Cell as well as the beta. The beta was mainly done so people can actually test out the game. And the killer at that time was Cell, so you got to go from like the little Cell to I believe it's like... um imperfect cell and semi-perfect cell and imperfect cell. like you go through the stages right with this latest trailer that actually dropped and mind you for me i actually enjoyed this trailer they did a really really good job with the cgi of this trailer they actually showcased the next killer who is actually frieza so when it came to the trailer they actually showcased frieza being the next killer starting from his base form or his first form having zarbon and dodoria with him as well as him being in the spaceship and then we also got to see him with uh, his second form his third form and obviously his final form and i guess we got confirmation that basically that next map that's actually going to be coming out is planet namic because the gameplay that they actually showed was the characters on planet namic itself and if you guys heard that i'm sorry that's my dog that's laying on the ground he's kind of uh he's kind of needy right now i don't know what exactly he actually wants but yes it's crazy i honestly thought that dragon ball the breakers was basically a dead game because literally no one even talked about it so many people are so hyped with the leaks of xenoverse 3 that I'm assuming people just forgot about this game altogether. And even I did too. Like, I love Dead by Daylight. Obviously, I just made a video a couple days ago showing you guys the attack on Titan skins, which I actually did manage to get one of them, which was Levi. I did get the Jake Park Levi skin. Um, so, yeah, you know, I was just playing that game with my friend, and I'm a huge fan of the Dead by Daylight formula. So, I was really excited when they actually showcased this style of game for Dragon Ball. But obviously, seeing the bigger YouTubers get early access and actually play the beta, I really didn't enjoy enjoy how the game looked and how it felt like it looked really really clunky it looked really bad but at the end of the day it's like it's a dragon ball ip who knows if i'll be getting it right so this whole time i legit thought this game was dead because like i mentioned there was just like no news and information about this game until today and it's surprising because a lot of people saw it as a code within xenoverse 2 so a lot of people thought that it was actually going to be its own little like standoff thing with xenoverse 2 like they did with the coliseum and the small trophies but no, this is actually going to be a actual released game. Let me tell you guys when this game is actually going to release. For all of you guys who are interested or who haven't seen the trailer, the release date is going to be October 14th of 2022. So yes, that is in a couple of months from now. October, that's almost like, what is this? It's, we're in July, so that's August, September. That's literally like three months away that we're actually going to be getting this game. And it feels weird because we're literally three months away from getting this game, but we only have like two people who are like quote unquote the killers, that being obviously Cell as well as Frieza. So they have three months to just bulk up this game even more to actually showcase more of the game as well as show us the next killer, which I'm pretty sure the next killer is going to be Kid Buu, where we go from like Majin Buu to probably Evil Buu to Super Buu to Kid Buu. Unless they want to do, you know, Majin Buu to Super Buu to Buu Han to Kid Buu. Because those are the more, like, ones that we're actually aware of. So all of that's really interesting. Now, what I actually want to showcase, well, not showcase, but talk about, is the fact that they're actually having three different editions of this game. They have a standard edition, a special edition, as well as a limited edition. Now, when it came to this game and when people first saw, like, the trailers and the gameplay, a lot of people were worried that this was going to be a full-fledged, like, $60 to $70 game. That is not the case. From what I've seen, people have kind of had it in euros, but obviously we're going to be doing it in dollars. And I'm going to try to be as accurate as I can because euros as well as dollars don't necessarily mix well. So I'm going to give you guys like the base things and the base prices. But I'm really happy that this game is not 60 to $70. I'm super, super happy about that. And from the looks of things, it looks like it's only going to be coming to Xbox One, PS4, Switch, and Steam or PC. So it, they're not even having like a new gen version of this. It's more just old gen, which is really, really interesting that they're doing that. Maybe they might have like a an upgrade for the newer consoles, but it seems to be like they're going to be doing that. So 
what do you get with the standard? So when it comes to the standard, what people are basing it to be is $15 to $19 is the standard game. The standard game, you basically just get the game and nothing else. Like you don't get anything additional. It's just the base game. $15 to $19 for something like this. I don't necessarily know how I feel about that. I still have to see how this game looks in regards to just like longevity of the game. Like if the game could really last for a really, really long time and it does have its dedicated servers where people play the game, I could see it being, you know, 15 to $20. But like I mentioned, this is completely off compared to what a lot of people thought it was going to be. So I'm happy that it's this cheap. That's literally like three to four times cheaper than we actually thought so if you're looking to pick up like the base game if this interests you you're going to be looking at around 15 to 20 dollars then they also have a special edition which the special edition basically comes with the game it comes with whichever console you want for the game it comes with the breakers and some special content that you get it is called the special edition pack this basically comes with a costume it comes with a victory pose as well as it comes with a vehicle skin which if you're using a vehicle and you use the skin, the skin is actually going to be a yellow dragon, which looks pretty, pretty cool. Apart from that, you also get two pre-order bonuses if you pre-order the game. I'm pretty sure if you pre-order the game, whether it be standard, special, or limited, you will get these bonuses because, like I mentioned, it is a pre-order bonus. The pre-order bonus is Android 18's uh, Transfer, which is basically a skill that you get to use within the game. And you also get an accessory, which is a Blue Scouter, which... I don't necessarily know how I feel about this. Like, you only get a skill. We have to see how good that skill is, as well as a cosmetic, which is a scouter. Like, that's kind of... I wish they could give more as a pre-order bonus, but I mean, I guess they're doing, like, minimal work because I'm pretty sure no one's actually going to buy this game, or if they do, it's going to be, like, a small community who actually buys this game. So, yeah, that's basically what the special edition comes with. Just the base game, some cosmetics, some poses and some skills well that's more of like the pre-order stuff but the one that they also have is the limited edition so the limited edition basically comes with the same thing that the special edition does come with which is basically the base game obviously the pre-order bonuses include android 18's skill as well as the blue scouter you also there is a bandai namco store time exclusive bonus which is basically just an accessory for your character i'm pretty sure that's if you get the actual game from their store that's what you get but oh yeah and you also get the special edition pack which comes with you know the cosmetic clothes for your character the victory pose as well as you know the yellow dinosaur the only difference between the limited edition and the special edition is that the limited edition actually comes with a steel book the steel book is basically just a steel book or hard copy of the actual physical game and this one obviously includes this basically the same cover but obviously it's steel book form as well as you get some stickers. The stickers that they actually showcase on the store are basically just Frieza, Kid Buu, and Cell. I don't necessarily know if they're going to be different stickers or if it's just those three. I'm hoping it's more stickers. I mean, I'm not a stickers person, so I'm not going to be sticking them anywhere. But if we just get three stickers, I feel like that's a little lackluster. And then obviously, every time Dragon Ball releases like a limited edition, it comes with a statue. So this statue or this figure is basically Cell's shell. It's basically like that cocoon little bug that he looked like before he morphed out into Imperfect Soul or the thing that Gohan and Trunks found with it when they were looking for the time machine. That's basically what we get. It is a 9 by 15 centimeter statue. I don't necessarily know how big 9, uh, 9 by 15 is. Maybe I could get like a ruler and kind of test it out myself. But yes... It comes with the so it's basically the special edition. The only thing different is it comes with that stealth that cell figure, the steel book, and the stickers. And if you guys are super hardcore fans and you want to buy this, this edition comes in at a whopping eighty dollars. So as you can see, this one is fifty dollars more. So if you feel like that cell figure, the stickers, and the steel book is worth the fifty dollars, then by all means go ahead and buy it. I'm still kind of up in the fence in regards to what i want to get i feel like i don't know <laughs> i feel like 80 dollars is a pretty good price point to get stuff like that but at the same time i'm kind of scared to drop 80 dollars on this because i feel like this is a game that i might never play just because none of my friends are interested and the community for this game looks pretty bad but like i i have the xenoverse 2 collector's edition i have the fighters i have the dragon ball z kakara i feel like when it comes to anything dragon ball related i should get the collector's edition so i'm still up in the air for that but yes there are like i mentioned the three so standard edition 
base game, $15 to $19. Uh, special edition comes with the game as well as some cosmetics, which is either the cosmetics for the character, the pose, or the vehicle. That's basically it, which is $30. This one's $10 more. And then obviously the special edition comes with the game, the cosmetics from the special edition so you know the cosmetics the pose the vehicle skin you get the steel book you get the stickers and you also get a self figure and obviously like i mentioned pre-order bonuses android 18's skill as well as the blue scouter so yes like i mentioned price point 15 to 20 30 or 80 you know respectively for all of those and they also mentioned that they're going to be having a, another registration for closed beta so i'm assuming this beta is mainly going to be for people to get codes to try out the game now that they actually make the fixes necessary from the first one that they had because obviously the first closed beta that they had was just a run through to see how people like the game uh there's a lot of negativity towards it because obviously how it looked how it played it was really janky it didn't look good so we'll have to wait and see what exactly this closed beta looks like because even seeing the gameplay from the trailer that they released today it really did not look <laughs> much better at all so we'll have to see about that but from what i actually see here session there's going to be four different sessions these sessions are going to be January, February, March, April, May. June. Oh, some of these are already gone. What the heck? I'm so confused. But yes, I'm pretty sure there's going to be another closed beta that is actually going to be part of this. And the dates are going to be revealed soon. So if that's something that really interests you, I recommend looking at like Bandai Namco's either Twitter or any social media. Because for some reason, I thought this was the dates for this closed beta. But these were the closed beta ones for like a while back <laughs> these dates are like back in june for some reason so yeah i didn't really think i was going to be making this video i really didn't know that the breakers was still a thing that they're actually going ahead with this like i i was pleasantly surprised not pleasantly surprised but i was surprised nonetheless that they're actually doing this but like i mentioned this game i honestly don't know what to think like i mentioned i'm a huge dead by daylight fan this is a game that i want to pick up just to have like in the dragon ball collection of games that i do have but in regards to like special editions or limited editions i still don't necessarily know i mean the fact that it's 80 dollars, i feel like that's pretty cheap and i feel like that's something that i would be able to get compared to like other ones like i believe like you know the xenoverse the fighters the kakra all of those for me were like 180 dollars or almost 200 dollars. so this one is literally like you know two almost three times you know less compared to those special or limited editions so i might actually be picking this one up like <laughs> i i'm gonna be a sucker because i mean this is coming from someone who bought one punch man a hero nobody knows with the actual season pass so i'm one to just throw away my money for games that are like just completely broken and just completely bad so yeah in, in my opinion if one I, i'll see how i feel towards it but i'm pretty sure i might just be get, uh, getting the limited edition just because i'm a sucker for anything dragon ball and it, this cell figure hopefully looks pretty cool but you know we'll have to wait and see but like i mentioned what do you guys think about this is obviously i'm pretty sure none of you guys even care about dragon ball the breakers but if you guys are into dragon ball the breakers which edition will you be getting or what would you actually like to see within dragon ball the breakers to actually make it better that's something else we can also include within this video but that's all i really have for this one just want to make a a quick update like i mentioned this game drops october 14th of 2022 so if this is a game that interests you mark your calendars and like i mentioned whichever edition you get and hopefully you guys enjoy it but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you guys have an amazing day peace out y'all